Welcome back everyone. Today is Thursday, October 19th and we have Gospel from Luke chapter 9 verses 49 through 56. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. When the days for his being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem. And he sent messengers ahead of him, on the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there. But they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them. And they journeyed to another village. Today, as we delve into today's reading, we encounter a narrative that challenges our perceptions of inclusivity and prompts us to reflect on the expansive embrace of the kingdom of God. The disciples find themselves in a situation where they witness someone casting out demons in the name of Jesus Christ. Yet they attempt to stop him because he is not part of their immediate company. How often are we too guilty of limiting God's work to the boundaries of our own understanding. Jesus, in response, delivers a profound truth. Do not stop him. For the one who is not against you is for you. These words are inviting us to Reevaluate our preconceived notions of who belongs to the kingdom of God. The kingdom is not an exclusive club with a restricted membership. Rather, it is a realm of grace and love, embracing all, everyone who seek and serve in the name of Jesus Christ. In our journey of faith, it is easy to succumb to a narrow vision defining God's work by our uh, denominational or personal boundaries. The disciples themselves fell into this trap, attempting to confine the scope of God's activity. However, Jesus challenges them and all of us to see beyond the immediate and recognize that everyone who works for the common good in his name is not against but for the cause of the kingdom. The message is clear. The kingdom of God is not limited by our institutional affiliations or theological preferences. It transcends cultural, ethnic and uh, doctrinal boundaries. 
It is a kingdom where the love of our Lord Jesus Christ knows no borders. And the work of the Holy Spirit defies human uh, constraints. In our modern context, where divisions persist within the body of Christ, today's Gospel passage serves as a poignant reminder to embrace a spirit of unity and collaboration. We are called to recognize the diverse ways in which individuals and communities beyond our own circle contribute to the advancement of God's kingdom. Yet, as Jesus journeys toward Jerusalem, he encounters resistance from the Samaritans. James and John, perhaps influenced by the exclusivity they previously displayed, suggest calling down fire from heaven to consume the Samaritan village. And in response, Jesus rebukes them, emphasizing that the Son of Man didn't come to destroy lives, but to save them. This encounter with the Samaritans reinforces the theme of expansive embrace. Jesus rejects the disciples' response, reminding us that the kingdom's mission is one of salvation, not destruction. The kingdom is not advanced by force, but by the transformative power of love and grace. As we contemplate today's Gospel, let us examine our hearts. Are we, like the disciples, tempted to limit the scope of God's work to our own understanding and affiliations? Are we ready to embrace the expansive vision of the kingdom where everyone who works for Christ's cause are recognized and celebrated? May today's reflection prompts us to open our hearts wider, to break down the walls of exclusivity, and to recognize the diverse ways in which the Holy Spirit is at work in the world, in this world. In doing so, we participate in the glorious unfolding of God's kingdom. A kingdom that welcomes all who are for the cause of Christ. Thank you for watching. I wish to everyone a wonderful day. May God bless you.